Hello everyone, it's Bo here, continuing my journey to 1 million error. I just arrived to Lima, Peru, with the main goal to visit St. Dunes in Huacachina. It's been in my bucket list for a long time. Air pollution here is already taking toll on me. If you're following me since my video in Mexico City, you know I am sensitive to it. I feel less productive, I feel more tired, but I will do my best to stay productive. This week I'm focusing on executing our marketing strategy with focus on writing new articles. In this video, I will share exact process of how I'm writing articles from scratch, which is crucial for us since content marketing with search engine distributions is our main acquisition channel. Also, this week I will continue to monitor our Google Ads experiments and also will prepare a task for designer for website update. On the personal side, I'm sticking to my daily exercise routines. I also catching up with my psychotherapist this week. We didn't talk for a year. I've been doing great after five years in therapy, but I want to discuss some recent reflections and uh, find any potential blind zones. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay ahead for a productive week and adventure in the desert. Let's crush this week. Let me show you a process of how I'm writing articles for our blog. Exact process might be different from type of the article or just from article to article. For example, if it's a topic uh, connected to how to leave specific state residency, it's usually almost the same from state to state. So it takes 15 to 45 minutes for me to write this article and it's very boring so I won't show it right now and I decided to show you how we write an article from scratch, uh, not templated one. So the zero step is to find an actual topic to write about that connected to the business and also not completely covered in the search because we need to find a content gap or topics that are not extensively covered. It's like the best spot because you can get attraction and position much faster. And uh, one of the main sources for me to find in ideas for articles is uh, conversation with customers or support requests or just some insights that I had during conversation. Another way how to write, how to find what to write about is uh, especially if I am expanding uh, content clusters that we already have is Google Search Console. When you already have some uh, traction, uh, you can just check queries. And recent example was, I was checking one of our most popular articles about how to leave California residency. And one of the terms that I found that we haven't properly covered is uh, California residency laws. So I decided to write a separate article about it. Today I am writing an article um, about uh, easiest countries for American to immigrate. And I already made some you know, short research. I usually start with perplexity and just put this term and read all of the articles that already exist. And I'm trying to find uh, what we can write different. Is some gap exist? What haven't covered in these articles. And for example, I found that most of the articles uh, that ran for this term, they usually have a list of best countries or easiest, but de facto best. For example, if I would check one of the articles and uh, it's like Mexico, Portugal, Ecuador, 
some popular countries for Americans to immigrate, but it's not the easiest. So what I decided to do in this article, I checked a Wikipedia page about countries that um, have no visa requirements with the United States or have the longest allowed state with some additional residencies uh, visas and uh, we will write about it. Probably I will create an article later about best countries for Americans to immigrate, maybe the most popular, but in this article I decided to focus just on the easiest one. Step number one is to write an outline for the article. It's basically a plan, a structure for the article. And for writing it and also for writing articles, I use ChatGPT, mostly for all model, just because it's faster and it's good enough. So I just sent screenshots from Wikipedia article and I drafted um, what I want to and want to focus on. Then after a few iterations, I just corrected a few mistakes a few hallucinations and also um, ask to remove a conclusion just because it's useless in most of the articles. And I also ask to integrate our company, Savinomad, which helped with taxation into the article. And I ask to create a separate chapter for it. The next step is to write article uh, step by step. Let's run I also always ask to use simple language in friendly tone of voice just because I, I like it more and uh, my vision is that articles is a part of the product so it should be simple, easy to consume and provide a value and in our case when we write about taxation, immigration in some cases, our value is to provide a simple content that answer a question but not too overwhelmed and written in a human language not like in lawyers or legal language then i will go through chapter one by one with some iterations corrections and uh, i will show you article close to the end i already drafted an article and also together with it i try to move everything in Google Docs just because it's easier to format and to save it. And I also usually create some formatting with headlines, removing some unnecessary symbols, sometimes also just remove information that doesn't provide any additional value. And uh, after that, I usually work on headlines and meta description. For example, in this article, I want to have a title with numbers and I ha had some ideas how to make a high CTR. Probably I will choose something like 12 easiest countries for Americans to move and stay. Something like that. I will edit a bit. Also description, which is also necessary. And after that, I will move this article to our management platform ghost.org will polish it a bit, add some internal and external linking and I will also create image in chat GPT with DALI 3 help. Usually it takes me like 3 to 10 generations to find a picture that I like and I will show you end results later. So I already published an article, I generated a picture, I also cut it a, a, a bit. Also, I decided to add links to other articles that we have uh, regarding taxation, also added pictures that we already used in previous articles about domiciles for American expats, and I also added a banner here with call to action to learn more about our services. In the future, I will also review this article and usually if article getting some traction and traffic, we can proofread it, we can improve it with some additional images, maybe add information or remove something based on keywords that this article ranking for. 
So that's it. That's how I'm writing articles for our blog. It's our main acquisition channel. If you have some questions or you want me to share about something else in marketing, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to share more about marketing. The reason why I decided to stay in Lima for one week is this. So, that was a good in Productive Week. I'm continuing executing our marketing strategy and I was able to write 12 articles for our blog, which is great. We also got five new customers this week and I'm happy to share that we got a first video testimonial. It's really amazing because I've been chatting with this guy for a few months. I found him in some WhatsApp community and I've been providing him a VIP support with voice messages in WhatsApp even before he became our customer. On the personal note, I spent this week in Lima and it reminded me Mexico City very much. There are some good neighborhoods and some beautiful Hispanic architecture, but most of the city is just bad. Um, bad city design and management, air and noise pollution. That said, Lima has the best food in Latin America that I've tried so far and I really enjoyed it. I also went to a nice museum where I learned a lot about ancient cultures and civilizations here, even from pre-Inca times. It was really fascinating to learn about their beliefs, tradition and culture. On a lighter note, Lima has a park full of cats, so it was really nice to walk around these cuties, pet them, and I really miss my cat that in Lisbon right now with my friend, so it was uh, nice just to pet these cute animals. The highlight of the week was checking off a bucket list item, riding uh, buggies in St. Junes here in Wakajina. I've been dreaming about it for a long time and it was an amazing experience. I also got a new camera this week, so content quality will keep getting better and better. On top of that, this week, one of my weekly videos from Costa Rica crossed 600 views, which is a record for my channel. So thanks for supporting and being together with me on this journey. Next week, I'm continuing my journey in Peru Tomorrow I'm flying to Cusco, so stay tuned for more adventures. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.